Now, let me tell you this. When he told me all about it, all about how the show worked and everything, I didn't understand a word. Not a word. I didn't know what he was talking about. But he said, do you think you can do it? Well, I'm an actor. I said, yes, of course I can. Heaven help me. Casting was very difficult with this. We, we, first of all, we were doing what we think in drama terms is heroic fantasy. I know we're doing game as well, but the, back, out, the outside dramatic shell was her heroic fantasy. So we wanted um, really bold characters, larger than life. Phase with us now, for this is the time of adventure. I, Tregard, issue the challenge. And actually, Hugo Myatt, who we chose, he was the first choice for Tregard. Uh, I knew him because I knew his wife at the time. Um, I knew some of his work, uh, and he was absolutely the best choice because he is larger than life, and he's still larger than life today, you know. One of the first things that happened was my stomach was rumbling. Now, this may not seem important, but I was too nervous to tell anybody, and so they were searching the whole studio to find out what the sound was, whether it was the central heating, the air conditioning, or what was causing this noise. That was because I was so desperately nervous, because I had no idea what was going to happen when I got out there. And I think the kids had no idea either, so we were both staring at each other, sort of like half-frightened chickens, you know. You have some small previous experience of dungeoneering, I hope? Yes, I have. Very well. And what reward do you seek here? I seek knighthood. That will not be possible. And I'm amazed, actually, how well they did and how, to be honest, how well I did, that I remembered all that stuff. There was an awful lot of learning to do and coming out with. So, yeah, that's what I remember most. But I remember the little boy uh, staring at me with just great big eyes in, in sheer terror, you know, but nonetheless bravely going ahead and doing it. So, yeah, that's the sort of thing I remember more than anything. Turn then, face the door, and take a step forward. Everybody had to react very, very, very quickly. Hugo became progressively superb at that, but in the very early days, he himself will tell you that sometimes he didn't know what was happening next. And he had that occasional look of complete fear which all actors have when they don't know what's going on. Oh dear, what a pity. Never mind. David, it seems, has come to a decidedly sticky end. And so I'm afraid team has your particular adventure. I was on talkback, you see, as well as obviously Mike. And something would happen at, uh, that was not on the plan and the kids were doing something completely different. And sometimes I'd just get, Hugo, do something. The eyes would open like that, like, do what? And of course, I can't say anything. I can't turn around and talk back to them. So I'm trying to think, well, and then they'd be, tell them to turn left. <clears throat> Your team, I think perhaps it's wiser if you go in the other direction or some such nonsense. Warning Stop. team. You should have taken the magic lamp when you had the chance. Uh, the fact that Hugo became as good as he was um, and is, and uh, had a deep, rich understanding in the end of gameplay, because he's not a games player himself, right, okay? um, I think is a great tribute to him. Sometimes I see this sort of glassy-eyed look come up and I think, you don't know what's going on, do you, Hugo? You're getting a message from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's pathetic, really. But it was—it really was fun.